right, guys, still on lesson two or 6.2, and we're looking at task three. All right, perform linear regression. So I'll show you how to write an equation on your calculator in the last lesson. So that's kind of what we're looking at here. So residuals and best fit lines. All right, to perform linear regression, a line of best fit is a line that comes closest to all the points in the data set. The line of best fit for which the sum of the squares of the residuals is as small as possible is called the least squares line. You can use a graphing calculator to perform a line of regression, which is a statistical method used to find the least squares line for a given data set. Suppose a study is conducted of adolescents who are asked to log the amount of time hours per day spent with different screen-based media and the number of time they engage in fitness activities. The adolescents track their screen time and fitness for several months. The table shows the average values of screen time and fitness recorded by several adolescents. All right, so you can see when screen time is low, fitness is high, and it looks like the longer we spend on our screens, the less fitness we get. And I can definitely say I believe that. I'm not an adolescent, but um, since I've got a job where I'm working on my computer most of the time, the amount of fitness per week has definitely went down. All right, so it says use a graphing calculator and linear regression to find the equation of the line of best fit for the data. All right, so they put the um, X's and Y's, that's in your L1 and L2, if you have a TI-84, and then they've asked it to write um, an equation for you. So you can see how it's graphed the points, and then you've got that linear regression line there. And you can see, Here's the number of hours spent on your screen, screen time, hours per day. So the number of hours you spend on your screen goes up, the fitness goes down, the amount of fitness per week goes down. All right, so the correlation coefficient is whatever R is, and it says R is negative 0 0.9348, okay? So what does the correlation tell you? Select all that apply. So the correlation is strong because it's close to negative one, and it is negative because it goes downhill from left to right, or as X's get bigger, Y's get smaller. All right, an equation of the line of best fit is given here. And it says, what do the slope and y-intercept represent in this situation? All right, the slope is negative. So again, if the slope is negative, it's showing us that the more time spent on a screen, the less active we are, okay? And the y-intercept shows, the y-intercept shows when there's zero screen time, that's how many hours of fitness per week that you do. Okay. All right. So if you have any questions, please let me know. That's all for task three. All right. Lesson 6.2, task four. This is our final task. Residuals and best fit lines. Use linear regression. Linear regression models can be used to solve real world problems such as how to estimate the relationship between the height and weight of infants. The data shows the average height and weight for male babies for the first few months after birth. All right, so X is the amount of weight in pounds and Y is the length in inches. All right, so use a graphing calculator to find the equation of the line of best fit for the data. Then use the equation plot of the line for the bot for, sorry, I can't talk. Um, then use the equation plot of the line of best fit to estimate the length of a baby boy when he weighs 20 pounds. All right, so they went ahead and graphed this. Again, if you want to graph this yourself, all you have to do is go to stat. All right, click on stat and hit one for edit and then enter your points here, okay? All right.
the correlation coefficient is 0.9989. So when they plugged these values in and they drew this line of best fit, they got a correlation very close to 1. Okay, so that tells us that it's very strong correlation and that it is a positive correlation. So positive because it's going up from left to right. That means as the X's get bigger, the Y's are getting bigger as well. And it's strong because all the points you can see are very close or right on the line. All right, an equation of the line of best fit is this. Choose the words or phrases to best complete the explanation. The regression line appears to fit the data very well. Because the residuals are small, the points are scattered on both sides of the line. All right, to estimate the length of the baby who weighs 20 pounds, substitute 20 in for the equation. So this is the equation given. X, remember, is our weight in pounds. So if you substitute 20 in, this is going to give you an estimate of how long or how many inches long the baby is. So when a baby boy weighs 20 pounds, he is approximately 28.3 inches long. All right, that's all for task four. If you have any questions, please let me know.